EGOE 0.24.0 was released recently. The demo program for the widget button is not working with the new release. This video is intended to show how to edit the demo program to make it work. Let's see the new script. Viewport Builder and Viewport Command are new. We will see how to use them. Like before, we need a struct. This is the same struct as in the old code, except we changed the name. Let's see the part of code responsible for the updating of the frames. Namely, we need to implement this trait for button demo, and put our widgets here. We will see this function soon. Self is an instance of button demo. We add a space. This is how we exit the application for our new version when the button is clicked. Note how the button is added. This is the size of the button. This is the button with a label named, quit. This is how we quit the application. For comparison, this is the code I used in the old version. New version used CTX, old version uses frame. Now let's see the methods for the struct button demo. The new method is the same as before. The new method is called here, by the main function. Let's see how the method UI counter is defined. This method is basically the same as the previous one, except the sizes of the buttons and the label are defined. We have seen the UI counter is called here. The main function is different. Before we read the code, let's go to website for the official documentation of eFrame. We first have a look at the previous version. There are 30 fields for the struct native options. After expansion, we see the two fields we used before. Let's see the new version. There are only 16 fields. Click to expand. This is the field we are interested in for current purposes. Let's go back to our code. I define a viewport, with defined inner size and position. Then we define our native options. Running the program produces the expected result. The main function can be rewritten like this. Try to run this modified code. Thanks.